Hello, welcome to the Cloud Factory. My name is Sandy and today I'm going to show you how to make a dirty solver. Um, as usual, suppose this piece of paper is my fabric and for this kind of solver you will need 3 meters of fabric and the width of your fabric it must be 42 inch. Uh, well, 42 inch is the general measurement required for this side. But personally, I found out like 42 inches is too much for me because I made mine with 42 inches and I got a very, very long solar. So I have to, I had to fix it before I finish it. So for me, the perfect size of this side of my fabric is 39 and my height is 5'3". So you can, you can guess, uh, depending on your height, how how long it will be your fabric in this side. The average is 42, as I told you, but since, since I am short, I just 39. So you can, you can make it with 42 and after that check the length of the, of the salwar once you finish it and after that just fix it depending on your height. Well, once you have your fabric, you have to fold it by the middle. And now I have here two single pieces of fabric. And I will fold again like this, making an angle line. So that will, that will give me this triangle. And this part, the bottom, sorry, the top part I will remove it and I will save it because this fabric will will be my my waistband with this part here I have one two three and four pieces of fabric so these are my my two leg pieces now in this part, I will make my crotch area in this way. You have to draw this shape. And from here to here is 7 inch. And from here to here is 2 inch and a half. In this part, I will mark 3 inches from here to here and 3 inch from here to here and I will join the line. And from this part, I will mark 9 inch from here to here. And I will make this. This is my poncha part. So once I have this, I will cut. For the poncha you have two options. If you leave it like this, you will have this part like making a V shape because this is your leg part. So you will have this part making a V shape in the side of your ankle. Or the other option is Cut from here and then you will have um, a classic punch up area. Separate your both pieces and now you have this. You will join the pieces by the crotch area. This is the outer leg part and this is the waist part. So here you will make the um, plates and from with this part 
just got the waistband. The waistband measurements are from here. Uh, it must be um, the measurement all around your hips plus four inches and from here it must be 12 inch or as you wish considering that you have to you have to leave enough space here to put the elastic and that's it you have your you have your pieces ready now let's see the sewing part here I have my fabric my single pieces are here and my folded part is here now I will fold it making the triangle And I will cut the top part. And now I will trace my crotch area. Remember, from here is 7 inch, and from here is 2 inch and a half. Just make a curve line. And from here I will mark 9 inch as I told you before for my punch apart. And here is 3 inch and 3 inch and join the line and I will cut this part. Also, I will cut my crotch area. Remember, here I have four layers of fabric. And cut here. This is about a uh, half inch. And I cut already here. And I have my punch apart here. and my crotch area here and this is my full piece for my leg my boat pieces now I will make my waistband I will unfold the rest of my fabric and I will mark the full length around my hips plus 4 inch and from here I will mark 12 inch but I will ad adjust it uh, later. Got it. And I have my waistband ready. Now I will sew from here. This is my inner leg part from my crotch area to down. And here in my poncha part, I will just make a double fold and sew. Once I sew my inner leg part, I will sew my crotch area. I will attach it first with pins to show you how you have to do it. Just follow the line, join the crotch area of your both leg parts like this. And as you can see here, you will join your pieces like this. Now sew it. Once you sew it, your crotch area must look like this. And now I will make the plates. Well, it's not so complicated as it seems. I will show you 
uh, tip uh, to make it better. First, pin your waistband. We will sew from here later. Now take the half part of your of your salwar and pin it to the half part of your waistband and take the extreme of your leg part and pin it to the extreme of your waistband like this. Do the same in the other side and now I will fold my plates starting from the center to my right folding every four inches until I reach the extreme and I will make the same but now I will fold to the opposite side now I will fold to my left side now turn back your salwar and repeat the process first fold from the center to your left and now fold from the center to your right until you reach the extreme of your waistband now sew from here all over your plates join them don't remove the pins just stitch next to the pins but be careful and once you sew it now attach your waistband cover your salwar like this with the waistband and now sew from here all around the waistband attaching it to the plates and be careful to stitch under them the stitch you made before once you adjust the size of your waistband put the elastic inside fold it like this your fabric and sew from here remember you don't have to touch the elastic inside your stitch it must be outside and when you finish you will have this now I will make another stitch in the center of my elastic to keep it in its place and you will have this now your the diesel wire is ready I hope you like this tutorial and see you in my next video